Today I want to show you 8 alternatives for Microsoft Office if you like to switch to Linux. So stay tuned. What you see here is LibreOffice. Most Linux users know LibreOffice and love it. It's good enough for almost every user. It is pre-installed on many Linux distributions. So it's kind of default if it comes to Office Suites in Linux. It is open source and it is free. LibreOffice consists of five programs. There is Writer for word processing, there is Calc for spreadsheets, there is Impress for presentations and two other programs, Draw and Base. It is very good, but you could run into problems if you try to exchange some documents with Microsoft Office users. You can import and export Microsoft format, but if you want to look Microsoft documents the same in LibreOffice, you might have to install Arial or Times New Roman fonts, because they are not included in LibreOffice or in any Linux distribution. But it's not a problem to install the Microsoft TTF fonts. You all know LibreOffice, so let's check the other seven. If you come from Microsoft Windows, you may have used uh, Apache OpenOffice. It's also open source and it's available for Windows. OpenOffice is also available in Linux. You go to the download page here. Here you can choose RPM or DEB. Well, for me, it's DEB, the Debian package. And now you can download the full installation. If you have a very weak computer or an old computer, you could use Abbey Word and Numeric as program for spreadsheets. So Abbey Word is a small program. It's not as good as a LibreOffice Writer, for example, but for many cases it may be enough. The theming you can see here is not very nice, but it blends into the theme you selected for your distribution. The good thing is it's a very small program, it's open source, it's free and it doesn't need too much resources. Abbey Word for word processing and Numeric for the spreadsheets. If you use a distribution with KDE Plasma as a desktop, Caligra Office is a perfect solution. As you can see here, it doesn't fit perfectly here in MX19. Here, th this is not perfect. I checked that out in many distributions. The best was Kabantu with Breeze theme. In Breeze, it looks perfect. It is much simpler than LibreOffice, but if you use it within a Plasma desktop, you well, you, you, you might find it very attractive. There is a Caligra Words, Caligra Sheets and Caligra Stage for presentations. The next one is WPS Office for PC. You can find it here on this webpage, wps.com and now you go to the download page. Here you can see it's available available for Windows, Mac and here for Windows, for Linux. You can download and here you can select a DEP package or RPM package. It is also available as Flatpak. And that's how it looks. Uh, it comes with an own theme, as you can see, no dark theme here, no arc dark. And here you can see what you can do with that. Some users say that the compatibility is better than um, with LibreOffice. And here is WPS spreadsheets. And here is one of the default layouts in presentation, I guess, where WPS comes from. The next one is only Office. Here you see 
it's specialized on cloud surfaces, but you also can download uh, here in products. No, here, here is download desktop editors. And you can see you get it as a dev package, as a RPM package, and as a snap package. And in MX Linux, I found it as a flat pack. Here you can download the package. I installed that on MX Linux, as I said, as a flat pack. Let's open it. Let's start a new document or a spreadsheet or a presentation. Here's the document. So this is how it looks. This is for word processing. This is for spreadsheets here. Some predefined cell colors. Bad, good. Input here you can see what's happening. Calculation. Check cell. If I write something in here, there is a white color of the font. This is all predefined. Very good. Well, it's absolutely free and it's open source software. Here, the pricing, for example, for the cloud service, you can see how many users do you need for the cloud. And here you can see the price. If you have, for example, four users, it's $5 per user per month. And so you come to $20. But you don't have to use the cloud. The next is Free Office 2018. Um, it's two years old now, but there are many updates since then. And here it's permanently free to use. Here you can download for Linux. Let's take a look for 32 bit RPM DEP or other systems and for uh, 64 bit RPM DEP or other systems. Let's take a look. So now you can here save the file as a Debian package. If you need a more complex Office suite, maybe SoftMaker Office is the right thing for you, but this is not free. It's the same as free office, but with more functionality. That's how it looks here. Ribbons or menus in classical style. And here is uh, what it costs. Well, the standard edition 69.95 uh, and the professional version 99.95 for one-time purchase and you also can have it per month. Here you can see what's the difference. This is free office and this is SoftMaker Home and here's SoftMaker Universal. This is the professional edition. So here you can see there are no customizable ribbons in free office. There are no document tabs like in a web browser. There is no spell checking using high quality commercial dictionaries. So you can read that. There are many things um, that are in SoftMaker Pro and not in FreeOffice. Well, and here's another one. This is not a, an office suite. It's only a writing program and it's not distracting you from writing. Here you can find it if you like, but here you only can write, nothing else. The program is called Focus Writer, and it's not um, very good if you want to um, have very complex formats and something like that, but only for writing for authors and, and, and people who just want to write down some notes this might be the perfect solution for you. As I said before, you can find some of these Office Suites as a flat app or 
as snap package if you like for example WPS here you can find it or only office I want to check that only office desktop editors so if if you prefer that to check it out you can use snaps or flat packs eight office suites for Linux I hope it was interesting for you tell me if you'd tried out something tell me what you think about the alternatives tell me if you like Microsoft Office tell me if you like LibreOffice if you use only Office tell me I appreciate every comment on my channel so subscribe give me a thumb and have a nice day Joseph